Hello everybody and welcome back to the war campaign on X4, our X4 guide continuation campaign and as you can see here we've got our station up and running it's now a defense platform it's classed as such uh, but we have no more fleet left uh, the fleet unfortunately um, couldn't contain the uh, constant attacks from from the enemies because I've let it run now for a few hours and as you can see we've got about 41 and a half million credits in our bank not to mention what we're about to get in our station now if you remember the station was upgraded a little bit and if we just go back to just reminding us what we've done as you can see here we've got a few more additions to our station we've got a bigger container storage we got another liquid storage here that I think we already had. We've got the whole parts all up and running, all up there and good. Now, there's a couple of things we want to do with this. Even though, as I say, we are not economy driven, we still need some money. Um, and if we have a look at our property owned here, and we go to our metal factory, we go to manage funds, you can see now we've got 14 and a half million in the bank. Um, so it is now generating a plenty of um, credits. Well, what you can also see here is that um, we are we're not getting anything from anybody else apart from ourselves. So we're going out gathering the methane, we're going out gathering the ore, we're also collecting energy cells from our um, energy cell collector station down in Argon Prime. And you can see we are max producing graphene and refined metals. Uh, that is absolutely completely full. We're also maximizing on hull parts as well. And realistically, we, well, look at that. Just absolutely, we're, we're dropping slightly in price, but we're averaging a, a genuine good price there. Uh, it looks like we're also grabbing a couple of buy orders for the ore, possibly. We'll need to keep an eye on the ore levels just to see. Uh, actually, I think that might be the sell, actually, because... Obviously, we've got this limit here. We can we can adjust this limit if we want to. We'll just pop it up here, just so we've got plenty of ore for our system. Because what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to actually get a couple of ships to transport our goods for us. And you can see here, what is he up to? He looks like he's selling energy credits. That's fine. Uh, you're selling whole parts. So you can see, because we've got these two shipyards here, we've actually got a real close system uh, for our sale. We've got refined metals here also being sold. Where are you going to? You're going to another whole parts factory. So we've got absolute bags of choice for what we want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to buy ships. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buy two large um, freighters. I'm going to buy two of these, and I'm going to just select just a low preset for both of them. Make sure our docking computer is a docking computer mark 2. And I'm actually going to... No, we'll leave it as is. We'll add that. We'll get two of them. Confirm order. Once they're done, I'm going to send them both to this uh, factory. I have put a couple more in there. As you can see, the smaller ones are plodding along there nicely. What I do want to do, though, is I want to start rebuilding my fleet. So I'm going to go back to our metal factory here. Manage funds. Accept the estimate here. But it wants 8.5 million. We're back up to the 41 million again. Now, if you remember, this was about 1 million. So I'm actually going to drop it down even further. I'm going to select it to 2.9 million. We've got 46 million in the bank, so hopefully we can get ourselves our new flagship because rip our ballast ship was destroyed. So let's have a look. Size extra large now because we have done so much work for Argon Prime and for the Argon faction in general, then we have options for bigger ships. And for me, hopefully, we can get the Arwen Mothership Carrier. 60 million we're just a little bit shy for what we want and realistically this is probably going to be the ship that i want to spend my money on because as you can see it has defenses all over it Up inside you can see all the little markers here of where all the turrets are there's turrets all over the place there's shielding all over the place turrets all down it's 
you know, top end here. We've got the nice big defense shield at the back as well. Big engines. It's just absolutely massive. Um, so we add that. We're about 13 million short on being able to purchase that ship. So we what we can do is we could possibly get the Tyrannus Linebreaker battleship, which is far cheaper. Much, much cheaper. 35 million. However, it's a much smaller ship. It's weaker. And it's got only two large engines, so the speed on it's not too bad. I mean, these ships are huge. You can just see, there's the, the bridge that you sit on just there, so you can imagine the size of that there. This is our extra large shield generators. Imagine how big they actually are. Obviously, we've got our... Uh, they look like the shields and bolt turrets and stuff like that. Just absolutely loads of stuff here. And I believe this can carry... Yep, it can carry six... Well, it's got six small docks, so it can carry 30 ships inside it. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually put a fleet of ships inside what we choose to have. Um, so whether it be, you know, a fleet built up inside it or something like that. But I think I'm going to hold off for now. We're going to let it tick over because I'm not going to get that. That's going to be my second ship to get at some stage. I say second ship, second large ship, um, because I want to get two of them in total to support the carrier. Then we're going to get ourselves an auxiliary carrier or, or auxiliary support ship to supply the fleet so it'll move back and forth between um the the locations here around here the wharf or the, the shipyard to collect supplies uh, and then that's where we're going to be pushing so i just wanted to kind of give an update as to where we're at um as i said we've got absolutely no fleet defending this area now but i have set my little ship off um around somewhere oh, there he is just sat, oh, he's actually he's actually parked at the defense platform. So he's actually I've put him inside the hangar now, so he's protected and safe. He's gone around and he's dropped um, some satellites around everywhere, and I've dropped satellites in areas that I want to be working in at the moment. So we dropped some in the second contact. Um, I think I need to drop some more in eighteen billion. Yes, I do. Um, but at the moment, I've just sat him there, ready to go. Um, well, let's go ahead while we're just waiting for the money to tick over. Let's just grab him again. There we go. And let's just... I, I want to get some 18 billion stuff here because there's quite a lot of um, factories that I want to work on. So let's go and drop satellites. We've only got nine left. As I say, I've been quite busy off camera whilst we set up. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned in the past, but the difference between a standard satellite and an advanced satellite is the zone at which it sees. So you get the area which a satellite can see in. That's actually where the uh, where obviously the, the Sentinel can see, but the satellite's the same concept. Um, this is a much smaller area for just a standard satellite. For the advanced satellite, the entire area it picks up, it can also see. So we're going to start looking at... Um, loading up advanced satellites now obviously they're a lot more expensive but they're good for how many have we put down here so we've got one two three four five six seven eight so we've got one more that we can place uh we'll we'll place it down here i think we've got uh high tech facility that'll do for now actually we'll we'll drop it by the um the jump point here the jump gate you can see comings and goings there and then what we're going to do is we're just going to place our ship back into our dock uh, so it's nice and safe i will probably upgrade it and replace it with some more satellites at a later stage but right now let's just get it back there so let's let it tick over we've got um plenty of money coming in so it shouldn't take too long now 2.9 million we're, to, we're already jumping up there on our actual finances, so uh, containers are really full. 
So hopefully we'll get some purchases. Let's just have a double check and see how our ships are doing. You can do that by just looking at property owned and it'll be at the bottom there. So 1 minute 29. So what I'm going to do off camera is... As a matter of fact, no, let's um, let's get some medium ships. Yes, we're going to spend a little bit of that money. But I'm hoping if we get... Um, what do I want? 7.4... 7,400, there we go, 8,200. We'll just do low presets, so 303,000. This will just allow us to deliver less, but in more areas. So hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll obviously have um, more sales. We'll go ahead and we'll get six of them. And we'll confirm that order. That just, you, two million, so hardly anything. Now, a couple of things we could do here, double check. If you remember, it was one of these large ships that attacked us. It was, a, I think, it was a K9 destroyer. I think it was that attacked us in that sector. So we're going to have a lot of combat as soon as we get back into that sector. And as you can see, they're still attacking the systems around here. As a matter of fact, that's the that they're being attacked. But there we go. That's fine. So back to what I was going to say. So we could spend all of our money and build a large fleet of fighters. And yes, that would be really good, but we're just going to lose all them fighters over a long period of time. And we're not really going to get anywhere with it because you throw fight fighters at a defense platform and the defense platform will probably take every fighter out before it gets destroyed. But if you're lucky enough, you may be able to take it out. That's a lot of expense, but not a lot of reward. So that's why we're holding out for the carrier. The carrier will have the fighters in it. I will create a fleet. I'll have the fleet dock with the carrier, and then when we're ready, we can control that fleet to attack targets we choose to attack. And I'll probably look at doing things like bomber runs and stuff like that, so we'll look more along the lines of the bomber fighters rather than standard fighters. And if we go to buy ships here, you'll see. You go to small. you got the heavy fighter. you got an interceptor. Now, these are all... The interceptors are great for, um, obviously, fighting other fighters, and you got the Nova Vanguard. I love look at them they look pretty awesome um of course we've had the quasars before and they are great at uh, bombing runs they're good for anything really they're really really good ships uh, slightly slower but you know what you lose in speed you gain in, in obviously in combat effectiveness and this is a heavy fighter here the vanguard's version of it i like it but it's nowhere near as good as the uh the quasar vanguard I just love the look of it. So we're going to probably get a fleet of these and obviously take out some of the larger targets with them. Uh, what we can also do is if we go to the medium ships, we start getting the frigates and the gunboats. The gunboats are actually quite good. Um, they're really the only two you get, really. The frigates are good for supporting, but for me, they're a sitting target. I don't tend to use them too much, but we will have some of them. Because obviously they do have the small dock. Um, so they can have a fighter apiece and they can support ships. So that's where we're at with that. So let's uh, let's go on for you guys. Fast forward the time. So we've got the money to buy our carrier. And then we'll have a look at what the carrier actually looks like. I'm going to come back when we've got the money. So you can see what I'm going to put on the carrier. And then obviously the build time for that carrier is going to be ridiculous. The other thing I'm going to do whilst uh, we wait is I'm actually going to set these um, Mercury Vanguards here, these here, all ready now. But I'm actually, uh, before we go, let's just do it so then you know it's done. We're going to right click and we're going to assign role for Trader, which is the beta, beta group. And as you can see, they're all now accounted for. We still have, where's the larger ones that we had? Uh, I'll go and prank. There they both are. I don't want you. So again, we'll right click, assign trader role into the beta squad. There is now a lot of ships there providing us with trade. Now, some of them may sit around doing nothing, but I'm not too worried. Let them plod along. They're increasing the ship screw. You know, they're going to put sails out when they can. As we start to get more of the satellites out, we're going to get more trades and stuff like that. So we're actually going to see an improvement in that. But uh, for now, let's just let them plod along. And uh, 
Let's head on back once we've got ourselves enough credits to purchase our big ship. Oh, welcome back everybody. And as you can see, we are good to go with our credits. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to buy ourselves a new ship. Extra large ship and it's that our our around or what do you want to say but i just say our one that is the one we're going for as we saw earlier nothing in it but we've got our load out already the carrier mark 2 and it's of course dropped in price and that happens because obviously the supply um can go up and down uh, but we can have a look at uh seeing about what the high preset is now the problem with the high preset is sometimes it does miss things out so just be wary of that uh so just double check everything make sure everything's in as it should be greetings it does look like it's put everything in and it does set the turrets all to a typical style which is the beam mark one um some of them will be flax so the m's are used in the flax large mediums there we go. We've got large beam turrets and medium flak turrets. This actually does look like a good design for us. We've got some consumable options if we want to. We can pump up the, uh, the drones. Let's just have a nice round number of drones. We can look at some advanced satellites if we want, but the likelihood is, is we're probably not going to get a chance to drop many of them. So we'll just grab around 50 if I can get it. There we go. But things like laser towers, I definitely want to get some laser towers. And this is where the money starts creeping up as well. We'll grab some Friend of Four mines as well. We want the Friend of Four ones so that we don't blow up our own ships. Uh, we can do things like tracker mines if we want. We've got countermeasures. Um, we may want some nav beacons or something possibly, but for now this will do us. Our crew, which is 283 out of 284, so we've got marines and service crews, so we can actually take over other ships with our marines if we wanted to. Double check our software. It has to have a docking computer mark to it because it can only control something this big via a mark II. This thing is massive. I like, like the underside scaffold, and that looks pretty cool. I've never noticed that before. So I think we're all pretty much set. The only thing we haven't got, obviously, is ships to go with it. Uh, now, it doesn't have a main weapon. As you can see, there is nowhere for it to go. It's pretty much a carrier. So there's no main weapon on this. So just bear that in mind when you buy it. But we can get it now. 59 million. Add to shopping cart. 48 minutes crafting time. So we'll confirm the order so it can start. And it leaves us with about 11 million. So what we can do is we can have a look and see if we want to get something um maybe a little bit smaller see if we've got anything else that's on an excel so we could get the smaller carrier if we really wanted i don't particularly like these ones they're all right but they're just nowhere near as good as one we've got again a little bit too expensive we could go for one of these but it needs another 23 million the auxiliary which we will need to get at some stage because it'll supply our fleet for us uh so you got things like missiles and stuff like that you can put in this it's pretty decent for an auxiliary ship um obviously you've got your builder ship if you want a freighter or a miner we could get a large freighter if we wanted to an extra large freighter if we wanted to however the freighter we've got in the moment well the, the f six i think it is four or six large freighters that we've got at the moment uh should do the trick i think they're actually medium freighters uh, no no we've got the large ones uh, now we could go for some baller escort ship that we had previously or we could go for the the vanguard if we wanted to as well now the baller escort is obviously i believe it's on the mod that i've got it's out of uh, the rebirth stuff so some of these ships you may not get um but you know if you are missing them and that's why it's part of the mod uh, so we could look against some more freighters and stuff like that but what we can do instead is if we head back now out of that we can obviously see if we go to our property home we can see our ship there in 46 minutes it'll be crafted we are already not far from the area as a matter of fact we're in the station because i was getting some stuff but that's the other thing we could do we could get some small ships if we wanted to buy some small ships but i've got my ship here Elite. that i have vanguard so i've got travel 
loading in. You know, I've got travel. I don't need to worry about the travel. We could get loads of these if we wanted to, but as you can see, even just by looking at it, there isn't really much in the way of combat prowess for this. It's a very small ship. So I'd rather save my money at the moment and start looking at getting something a bit bigger. I don't think there is any large fighters in here. Compare it with, no, there isn't. Uh, now that ship actually is completely unarmed because it's just my transport ship. But let's uh, let's go back to our representative's office. Because the other thing we can do as well is we start working towards making some more money. If we head on here, let's have a talk it's to an you. It's honor to see you here. So we can buy a blueprint and we can go to our modules again. And we can now start looking at some of the bigger modules. Things like composite production, electronics production. We can't do the antimatter converters because that is really expensive. We can go for an administrative center if we wanted to. They're pretty decent to have. That'll give us a representative, I believe, as well. Uh, certainly get missions out of that, so maybe not something that we want. We can't get a large habitat, so we can't increase our production for our stuff. We don't really need to worry about increased production because we're doing pretty well so far. We could go for the larger storages if we wanted to. Uh, some more vertical connectors, drone component production, so we can produce our own drones. Uh, engine parts, we definitely want to look at. Food ration, maybe not. You know, Microchip, missile components, plasma conductors, all these things here. All these things are going to be really good. Uh, we can't get the small medium ship uh, maintenance or fabrication base. They're very expensive. Uh, but we can look at some other stuff. Uh, so if we got silicon coming in, we could get silicon wafer production. Um, but it doesn't sell too much. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to pick something that's uh, going to be half decent for us. Let's have a look at that. We've got engine parts. They always need engine parts. We'll get that. We'll go for a missile component construction. And we'll probably look at something like... Uh, we'll go for shield components. And we'll go for silicon wafers just so we've got it. We've got about 4.7 million available left. Good luck out there. Okay, so very quickly, let us just get out of here for a second. Uh, I don't want to go to my ship because I want to actually go to the larger ship when it's crafted, which is in the process of doing now. But while we're doing that, let's have a look at what we can get out of 4.7 million. Now, remember, we've got, I believe it's something like 20 medium bays and 80 small bays or something like that. Let's have a quick gander, see how many we've got. Large XL. Oh, we've got two medium docks, 21 small docks. So, yeah, 20 medium ship capacity and 80 small ship capacity. So, I class them as bays. Uh, so, we can get ourselves 20 medium ships and 80 small ships quite comfortably, plus however many landing platforms we've got, we can have in there as well. So, let's go ahead and have a look at our wharf by ships. We've got small ships first because we're going to need some of them. I want to look at the heavy fighters. I love these, so I'm going to try and get as many of these. But this time, I'm going to go for a high preset. So as you can see, that is 4.2 million per ship. But what are we actually getting out of it? So the hull is 1.7 um, megajoules, and the shield is 1.4. Let's just go to a medium preset. So our shield is slightly dropped, but our price has dramatically dropped. And the reason being is if we go back to our high preset, you'll notice that we've got a larger crew on there. We've got all the level 2s. But we've got things like the weapon systems, is the Mark II blasters, which are 879 apiece. If we go down to the medium preset, you'll notice it drops to the pulse lasers. Now we can go for the iron blasters Mark I if we wanted to. They'll probably provide us with a decent firepower at not too high a cost. So let's go for the Mark 1s. There we go. We can then get... Let's go for all four. There we go. So they're one million apiece, so we're not going to be able to craft many of them, but let's get a handful of them. Now, this is going to start really ramping up the cost of war. That's 4.3 million for four fighters. These fighters are going to be the elite fighters. The shields are high. Um, or at least decent enough. They're not the top range, but you don't really want to be spending four million on a fighter if he's not going to survive. So let's just see how it goes with a four there. So we've got ourselves four fighters. We head to our property owned. We can see that um, they'll take about two and a half minutes, three minutes. And on 41 minutes left for our Guardian. Now, this fleet isn't the same fleet 
that we originally produced with the Balor Escort. That fleet was more of a probing the enemy, seeing what kind of defences they've got, what kind of assault they're going to have, how long the ships can last. You know, there's a lot of things to take into account. And we could see that they got pushed back quite easily and they were taken out quite easily once they started trying to assert the dominance into the territory. So we know we're going to get large fleets coming at us. That being said, that's the way we're going to now provide ourselves with. So we now want to set up a more personalized fleet. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to name the fleets. And I'm actually going to start naming the command of the fleet and the flagship and stuff like this. Because this is going to be my flagship. So you'd imagine if you watch Battlestar Galactica or something like that. The, the Battlestars themselves are the carriers. They are the head of the fleet. You know, and that's exactly what we've got here. The Arwent Guardian is the head of the fleet. The two Tenaris Landbreakers that we're going to have, or battleships, whatever you want to class them, they're going to be the two ships that are the escort to the um, to the carrier. But they are also going to pack a massive punch. And we create a fleet that's going to hopefully put a real dent into the Xenon. We're going to aim to try and take out as much of the Xenon as we possibly can, and hopefully try and steal their sectors. If we can manage that, then we'll start looking at breaking alliances with other fact factions and, and start basically claiming their territories and claiming their systems, capturing their systems. Uh, so we've got a lot of stuff coming in. But without further ado, let's jump ahead now to when the flagship is produced. We'll jump on that and we will give it its name uh, based off one of my Patreons. Um, the bigger ships now are going to be all named after my Patreons and those who support the channel, just to kind of give a little bit of uh, a little bit back to for them. Um, so I, I'm happy to uh, to announce that when it's uh, crafted. So let's uh, let's fast forward now until that's done. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. And as you can see, we've now got our carrier up in front of us, ready to go. And I have told it to dock, but these things are so massive they take forever to dock. So we've took our little transport vessel, and we're going to head out to it. And as you can see, we're still about three kilometers away, and you can just see the scale of this ship. Um, but let's go ahead and we'll request dock. Docking granted. We'll get ourselves a little docking port here. So let's dock onto our new flagship. And then let's get on to naming it and getting it ready for combat. Where is it taking us? There we go. Looks like it's taking us... Oh, inside. Yep, there we go. Ooh, I nearly missed that. You see here, oh, it's actually taking us inside. Now, I've not actually physically docked on one of these, so this is kind of cool. Brings us to the small docking ports just inside. This should just line up as soon as I hit it. There we go. Successfully docked. Nothing found. Go. So let's go ahead and get ourselves to the command deck. Hello, crewman. Oh, we have a floor that's not a floor. Different. Let's head to the bridge. Now, it may have actually docked because when I got on there. It has actually successfully docked now because we got the in caricature vanguard that's ours as well so we could go to that bridge if we wanted to but we're in a, in the Ar aron or the arwen and we can go ahead and have a look at our massive ship you just get the scale of what it's like there's our two shield generators you got weapon systems all across the top of it here Obviously, bear in mind we're only seeing a section of this ship. There is part of it behind us as well uh, that we're probably not going to get a good of, are we? There's the massive engine cells there. It's just massive. We've now got our flagship. And realistically, we're going to want to come back at some stage to get more from our representative, but... I'm kind of done with sitting in there. I want to get to the um, administration. I want to kind of get to the front now. So we're going to set our fleet carrier. First of all, we're going to get its name. So let's go to information. And we can resupply and redock it, but it's just been built, so it doesn't need anything. So let's go ahead and... Uh, what should we call it? 
So I'm going to call this now my main Patreon Hightower. So this is going to now become Hightower Command. Command Carrier. So it's call sign will be Hightower and it's the Command Carrier. There we go. Hightower Command Carrier. Perfect. Carrie Gisler is our captain. We have a very low rating, so we're not 100% with it at the moment. That's why it took so long to bloody dock it. We've got our little ship on board. Now, we are going to head on out. But first of all, I want to pick up my four quasars. If you remember, we built the four quasars. They're now in the wharf waiting to go. So we can now select this ship here. And we want dock at... Now, bear in mind, this is a command carrier or a carrier or whatever you want to call it. So it can resupply your small ships. Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've had one of these. So I'm not sure if it'll actually um, repair your ships for you. Let's head on out. These things are so bloody slow, though. It takes a while to get going. But it just looks amazing. My favourite ship design in the game, I think. We get an external view. Oh, we can. Look at that. You can see we're in that bridge section there, just in front of us. Just the scale of which this is traversing around. I don't know which direction it's taking us, but here we go. Hopefully the engines will kick in soon. Just the sheer scale of, of a ship this big. Just amazing. You can see there we've got 100% hull, 100% um, shielding. We can carry 52,000 um, storage. We've got 283 out of 285 crew, so we are ready to go. And we've got no commander, though. Why is it saying none for commander? I need to double check that because... It may be because it's not a in a fleet that it's not set it as a commander. That'd be uh, Oh it must be that though, which is the weapon component facility. It's taking so long to turn around, but you can see it there's its engines aren't even turned on. Just got its manoeuvring thrusters. Are we gonna start kicking it into a gear? Looks like our engines are now, there we go, engines are now engaged. Full power to the engine. Still maneuvering, so it's still pretty damn slow. I'm not sure what that is there. I don't think that is the weapons facility. Once we get going, we should get our... Oh, here they come. They should start coming in. We'll probably see them coming in, actually, if we get a good dangle. Here they come. Don't think I am. Look at the size of them compared to this bloody ship, though. See them there. Coming into land. Now we have only got four four fighters unfortunately, but we will get more of them as we get along. Yeah, just see the underside of it. Look at that, it's amazing. So this is our biggest ship that we've got. This is now the flagship. We're gonna get ourselves two line breakers as support vessels, and then we're gonna hopefully get a command um command HQ via the Flagship and the two support vessels, and then we'll have an assault force, probably with another two um, line breakers, some frigates, destroyers. Um, we're certainly going to get some more Balor escorts because they are good. Um, just one on its own, which was weak, wasn't an ideal situation. But right, we are slowly moving out of the way of the um, the actual shipyard. So let's go ahead and let's just cancel this off, remove this order. I'm going to send ourselves out towards our um, defense platform. So we're going to put ourselves here. 
and that's where we're going to haul ourselves for now we're going to get money continually continue to continue come in so we're going to set that up and we're going to hopefully have a bigger fleet by the time you next you guys come next so thank you very much everybody for checking out this uh this episode hopefully you're enjoying it hopefully you like the new ship we have the command carrier that's what we've been waiting for we are now going to take the battle to the enemy hopefully on a much bigger scale than what we had previously i'm going to start pumping out the um heavy fighters first i want at least enough heavy fighters to fill the aircraft carrier and then i'm going to start looking at support vessels for the carrier itself and then we'll probably push into an enemy territory and we will hold ourselves there we'll build ourselves a factory in there or a defense platform or something in there to claim that territory as our like our staging point like we did previously but we'll be able to hold that with the fleet that we build so uh, hopefully you're enjoying the series and where it's going to let me know in the comment section if you've got any suggestions ideas or anything you want to know um or you know any route you want me to try and take or anything like that but until next time everybody take care for now and i'll see you all on the next one bye bye for now